Hey, what's going on? We're at the Burnaby Sports Complex here. I got my man Jaden, and we're working on diving. Okay, now the first thing with diving is a mentality. If you want to be able to make the saves, you got to be brave enough to throw your body at the ball. And the only way that you're going to get that bravery, that you're going to get that confidence with this skill, is by just practicing, just throwing yourself. Okay, once you can get over that first barrier, throwing yourself on the ground, you're going to be able to make saves. Now, we're talking specifically, we're going to break down two different saves. One is a collapsed dive, and the other is an extended dive. So first we're talking collapsed dives. Now Jane's going to get into a ready position on his toes, feet shoulder width, knees slightly bent, his hands are in front of him. Okay, when he's going to move to the side, he's going to put one foot at a 45 degree angle. He's going to get his knees nice and low and he's going to slowly come down to the ground. He's going to throw himself from this position down to the ground for a ball like this. Okay, so let's just come back up one more time, demonstrate for me once again. Okay, ready position, do it a bit quicker Jaden. On his knees, exploding, planting, collapsing. Okay, the biggest thing here is that plant. So I really want to break that down. So just take it to the last point where you're gonna plant. Okay, so from here he's going down. Where are you going? On your shin, on your knee? Good, on his hip, okay? And he's landing onto the ball. Let's do that one more time just so you can see. Nice and slow. Okay, ball's rolling, planting, collapsing, falling on his shoulders, cushioning his fall keeping the ball nice and tight. Okay, at this point you always want to keep that ball. Don't let it get away from you if a player wants to come in and kick it away. Okay, let's look at this at a bit faster pace. Just a few more important tips on the collapse dive. Notice when he's going down, he's bringing up his other knee to protect himself. Okay, right there, he's protecting himself. When he does have the ball here, he's almost using the ground as a third hand to keep the ball in his grasp. Okay, if he's not pushing down with force, I can come in and I can get rid of that ball. But he's pushing down on the ball, on the ground, making sure that he keeps it in his control. Next, let's take a look at the extended dive. So you're gonna use the extended dive for both low and high saves. Basically, when it's on the ground, you're doing pretty much a collapsed dive. You're just pushing off with a little more explosive power. So I wanna break that down. Jaden's gonna demonstrate. When he is, show the difference between just collapsing and really pushing off, really exploding. Okay, so just collapse for me here. He's just going down, he's just falling down to the ground. Okay, at this point, if the ball's a bit further, he's really got to push off. Okay, see how he almost throws himself. He pushes off, really getting that power. Let's go one more time. Good, okay, so just break it down. I want to do it without, let's just put the ball right here. Okay, just show me the plant. Notice how he's getting real low. He's pushing off. Let's see the power in his stride. Good, okay, he's really pushing off. Really got to explode, get nice and low, and then push off. So you can use this dive for something on the ground. If it's on the ground, you're gonna use your bottom hand. If it's in the air, you're gonna to try to use your top hand just because it's gonna give you a little more distance. Is that right, Jane? Yeah. Okay, so allow you to cover more ground. So let's look on the ground again. Good, really pushing himself. Okay, if the ball is in the air, knee when he's diving. Okay, he's really gonna to try to tuck this one because it's gonna give him more momentum. If he's just jumping with his legs down on the ground, it's tough for him to get height. So he's really jumping or he's bringing everything up. Let's just take a look, small example. Good save, son. Can you come again, other side, right side? Good, very good. We definitely should address basic saves. I mean, what do you do when the ball comes right after you? Okay, so we're gonna talk about three different variations. One's on the ground, one is about waist height, and the other one is right here. So the first one, when the ball's on the ground, okay, show, show me, show everyone at home what you should not do when the ball comes to you. You don't wanna just reach down like this because you don't have a second barrier behind the ball. 
Okay. So when he goes down, when the ball's coming to him, you don't want to just bend down. You want to get your whole body behind the ball. So as you see, if it's a nice, easy shot, there's not too much pace on it. Jaden's just going to get down. He's going to block it with his knee, and he's going to take care of the ball. Good. Really make sure he gets his whole body behind it. So for if whatever reason, he doesn't catch it with his hands, the rest of his body is still behind it, and he can control the ball. Okay, so if the ball's coming with a bit more pace, Jaden's going to go down on his knees first. Is that right? Um, yeah, some of them. Okay, he's going to go down on his knees first, and then he's going to collapse on the ball. Okay, so he's going to pick it up with his arms, but he's going to put his whole chest on the ball to make sure that he keeps it in his grasp. Good. Okay, good. All right, keep going. So next, if the ball comes at waist height, he's going to do what we're calling a basket catch. Let's just demonstrate. Pretty straightforward. Okay, that one might be a bit high. But again, he's trying to get his whole body behind the ball. Is that too high for you? Uh, yeah, a bit lower. Okay, so he's really bending over, kind of like his dive. He's getting his chest on top of the ball. He's really cushioning it in here. Okay, cradling the ball in there. Good. Okay, and then if the ball does come up here, head height, he's going to change his grip. Good, and you see how he's coming through the ball like that? Strong palms, gripping the ball. Okay, making sure to knock it away from him. After that, he's going to keep possession, bring it into his chest. So obviously, if you want to be a great keeper, you got to get the number of saves up. It's all about repetitions. So if you want to master these skills, collapse dive, extended dive, you got to get your shots in, okay? He wasn't able to do this the first day. You're not going to be able to as well. So the way that you're going to do this is getting that practice. Go with your friends to the field. Get as many shots as you can. At your team session, stay before, stay after the practice, and get those repetitions in. Okay? The more times you try to save the ball, the better at saving you're going to be.